Well, almost a week after two firefighters were killed, the fire on board a cargo ship in Port Newark is finally out. All right, this comes as the Newark Firefighters Union is now accusing the department of failing to properly maintain its equipment. Fox Eyes Antoine Lewis joins us live from Port Newark. And Antoine, that's not the only issue that firefighters say needs to be addressed. Uh, good evening, Natasha. You're right. Add staffing to that list of issues, and the city has also responded to all of the allegations. We can officially declare the fire is out. Coast Guard and Port Authority officials gave that update of last week's fire on board the Italian cargo ship Grande Costa Devorio. Now that the fire is out, investigators are looking for the cause. This is merely the first step of a long process as we now need to consider the salvage and transfer of the vessel, a process that can be hazardous and complex as well. Newark firefighters Augusto Akabu and Wayne Brooks Jr. were killed battling the blaze. On Tuesday, the Newark Firefighters Union held a news conference saying the Newark Fire Department is using equipment that's improperly maintained. For instance, our large capacity fire boat wouldn't start the day of the fire. We have rigs older than firefighters driving them. Additionally, union officials say they voice concerns to the city and state about being severely short-staffed and improper training, but have seen little, if any, action in return. I have 80 vacancies right now. And even with the 80 vacancies, I'm still not up to standards. The Coast Guard says the ship was carrying 1,200 vehicles when the fire started. Officials were asked if the presence of lithium-ion batteries used in electric vehicles played any role. There is no report of the cargo that we have on board uh, in terms of the manifest that there were lithium ion batteries on board this particular vessel. Meanwhile, Newark Mayor Raz Baraka issued this statement in response to the fire union's claims. I find accusations of intentional understaffing and insufficient training of our public safety personnel very hurtful and a personal affront to everything my administration and I stand for. I find the timing very questionable. I welcome all dialogue that will clear up groundless misperceptions and advance the brave men and women who put their lives on the line every day for the city they love. Steve, in the Public Safety Office for Newark also issuing a statement saying in part that officials say Newark is budgeted for 483 firefighters. They are down about 50 and hope to make up the difference by the end of the year. Back inside to you.